Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to run DOSBox games on your Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. Now I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 and I'm running RetroPie 4.2, but this should work on a Raspberry Pi 2 also. The Raspberry Pi 1 is going to struggle with a lot of these games because it's very underpowered. It only has a single core CPU. Another thing to note is we're going to be playing these games with a keyboard. When we move back to the PC, I'm going to show you a few places you can get some resources and a few tutorials on setting up a controller in DOSBox, but I definitely recommend using a keyboard with DOSBox. Let's go ahead and get started. You will need to be connected online to download the DOSBox emulator and to transfer our games from our PC. So go ahead and plug in your Ethernet or set up your Wi-Fi. You can set up Wi-Fi from within the RetroPie menu. Go ahead and enter here. And you can scroll down to Wi-Fi as long as you have a keyboard set up. Raspberry Pi 3 or Raspberry Pi 2 with a Wi-Fi dongle, you can set Wi-Fi up very easily. After you're online, let's go ahead and go to RetroPie Setup. Now, if you're not on version 4.2, I definitely recommend doing a update RetroPie Setup script. After that's done, we're going to go to Basic Install. Now, this could take a little while because it's going to update everything. But if you're on RetroPie 4.2 already, like a fresh install, this works perfectly. Scroll down to Manage Packages. Scroll down to Manage Optional Packages. We're going to look for DOSBox. Go ahead and enter here. And we're going to install from binary. Now it's only going to take less than a minute to install. And there we have it. We now have DOSBox installed on our Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. Go to back, 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 and perform a quick reboot here. So we'll scroll down to perform reboot and click OK. Are you sure you want to reboot? Yes. So now that we have DOSBox installed and we've rebooted one time, we should have a new folder under our ROMs directory called PC. That's where our MS-DOS games are going to go. Let's go ahead and move over to the PC so we can transfer some games. First thing you're going to need to do is go to this website here, and I will leave a link in the description. There are a few other links on this page that are very important to using DOSBox. We're going to scroll down. The emulator we're going to use today is DOSBox. Our ROM folder is PC. Extensions are .com, .sh, .bat, and .bat. EXE. We do not need a BIOS. Let's go ahead and scroll down. Controls, keyboard, quick keys, control, F9 will exit the emulator and bring us back into emulation station. Here's the tutorials I was talking about. How to configure USB game controllers in DOSBox. I'm going to be using a keyboard because that's how I play my DOS games. But if you really, really have to have a controller, you can follow this tutorial here. There's some troubleshooting, but mainly we want to look at DOSBox compatibility list. From this page here, we're going to be able to see if the game is even going to work on a Raspberry Pi. So let's just start with Aces of the Deep. Works perfectly. The bat that we're going to click on to make the game run is listed here. Now we have an install bat, a soundset.exe, aod.exe. I'm going to be covering Quake in Warcraft 2. This list is amazing. Tons of games in here and it will tell you if the game will even work with your Raspberry Pi. So Grand Theft Auto. Slow but playable works perfectly with Raspberry Pi 2 Overclock. Next thing we're going to need are some DOS games. Now I have two here in this folder. These are compressed. They're already zipped. I want to unzip them. So I'm going to take Quake, 7-zip, Extract a Quake. We want it in its own folder. When we open this folder up, there's going to be tons of files in here, maybe more than this. But when we put this folder onto our Raspberry Pi's SD card, we're going to launch the game by clicking on the Quake.exe. Same goes for Warcraft Orcs and Humans. We want to extract this. Now what we want to do is connect to our Raspberry Pi. Now my Pi is connected to the same network as my PC here. I'm just going to open up a file explorer from the top quick access bar. I'm going to type in backslash backslash 
all capital, retro pie. I'm going to press enter. We'll go into our ROMs folder and find PC. I'm going to take my Quake folder that I extracted, place it in the PC folder. I'm going to take Warcraft, Orcs, and Humans and place it in the PC folder. Now we just need to wait for these to transfer to our Raspberry Pi's SD card. When this is done transferring, we'll move back to the Raspberry Pi and I'll show you how to start a game. Now that we have a few DOS games on our Raspberry Pi, it's time to move back over there. I have a keyboard and mouse connected to my Raspberry Pi to play these games, so keep that in mind. Let's move over there now. So now that we're back here, we need to do a quick reboot. Go ahead and press start, scroll down to quit, restart emulation station. Yes. Now that we've restarted, we can scroll over and we should now have an MS-DOS logo on our menu here. Go ahead and enter MS-DOS. You can see I have my Quake and my Warcraft Orcs and Humans. If we enter Quake, we'll have a few files here. I'm going to launch it with Quake. So the very last option here, I'm going to press A. It's automatically going to put in our Quake.exe, which will launch the game for us. And we can start the game from here. I'm just going to press enter. Single player, new game. And it's going to start our game for us. So you'll have a free mouse, just click on the screen and it should enable mouse movement within the game. So Quake is running really slow right now for me. It might run a little better for you. I'm on a Pi 3, I'm not overclocked at all. Go ahead and get my keys here. So I'll use my arrow keys to move around. Space is jump and shoot is my left mouse button. And remember, to exit the game, press Control F9. So we'll back up one here. We'll scroll down to Warcraft Orcs and Humans. From here, I'm going to launch it by war. DOSBox will automatically start our EXE. And we're now playing Warcraft Orcs and Humans. And again, you can use your mouse, start a new game, single player, I'm going to do a human campaign. You can read through that if you want to. I've played this game a million times. And you are now playing Warcraft Orcs and Humans, which is really cool to be able to play this on our Raspberry Pi. So we want to move him on up. And that's pretty much it for DOSBox. There are other ways to launch games, but this is the easiest way to start doing it. Now, I recommend reading through that page that I linked you to. There are a few tutorials on there. If you need a controller, you can always set one up through one of those tutorials. But for games like this, you need a keyboard and mouse to play it. And I definitely recommend playing Quake and Blood and stuff like that with a keyboard and mouse. That's just how they were meant to be played. Control F9 will exit. And that's it, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I hope this helped you out, and I hope you have some MS-DOS games up and running. Now, remember, not all MS-DOS games are going to work on the Raspberry Pi. You might find some that do work, but are very slow and unplayable. That's just how it is right now. It's a very low-powered, single-board computer. MS-DOS has been around for years, so a lot of these games are going to work pretty good. Some of the games that didn't work well on a real IBM machine may not work well on the Raspberry Pi. Like always, thanks for watching.